Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the GBA emulator on your iOS or Android device. So this is absolutely crazy. You guys can see there's a bunch of different games you can play on your mobile device. So all of the um, controls and everything are completely cross compatible. So you can play uh, Game Boy and Nintendo games on your mobile device. And this is a lot of fun. You guys can see I'm currently playing uh, Super Mario Smash Bros. Uh, so let's go ahead and start up the game. I just want to show you guys that it is working and it is very simple All the controls are cross compatible like I said, so it's not confusing at all But yeah, this is working on both iOS and Android and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to check if your device is compatible So it's very simple to do. Let me go ahead and just um, show you guys a little bit more gameplay And then I will show you the download process. So be sure to watch until the end of the tutorial So let's go ahead and close out what you guys want to do is go ahead and go under settings. You're going to need to configure your device for the download. So we're going to go ahead and go to general, go to background app refresh, and then you want to make sure it's set to Wi-Fi and cellular data. All right, once you do that, go ahead and click back, click back, go ahead and go to uh, battery. Now make sure you guys do not have low power mode enabled. If you do, it may interfere with the download. What you guys want to do now is go ahead and go to app store and make sure you have, um, what is it called, uh, automa or automatic downloads checked off. Now, if you're on an Android device, you don't need to worry about this part in the tutorial. So we're going to be going to this website right here. It's called injectapp.org. So this is the website we're going to be covering today. And there it is right there, injectapp.org. Go ahead and click the search bar. And we're going to go ahead and type in GBA emulator and it should pop up close to instantly so there it is right there gba emulator ios and android download go ahead and click start injection it's going to start downloading all the files for the gba emulator now um, it's going to take about 30 seconds to install and as long as you're taken to this screen right here this means your device is compatible for the installation so it's going to be extracting all the files and getting it all ready so let's go ahead and give it a few seconds here Alrighty, so you're going to be taken to the app injection page. This is the final step of the installation. What it wants you to do is download two apps, run them for about 30 seconds. Doing this will finalize uh, the full download. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. You just need to basically click on the app, click tap to install. It's going to go ahead and ask you to run it for about 30 seconds. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go, um, it looks like it's taking us to the app store. We're going to click download. And then once it's done downloading, just go ahead and run it for about 30 seconds. And you can uninstall it. And you uh, like once you see the GBA emulator on your home screen, you can uninstall both of these random apps off your phone. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and download the second one now. It's called Evertail. So let's go ahead and click download. And then I'm going to wait for them to finish down downloading. So it looks like the first one finished up. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. And you just want to, you know, basically run it open for about 30 seconds. You don't need to usually like create an account or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and just enter some fake information and kill some time. So yeah, let's go ahead and just enter a fake email really quick. And we can go ahead and close out. So we're going to move on to the second one. This one's called Evertail. And like I said, you can uninstall both of these apps once you're done with the installation. It's just basically going to be extracting the verification checks from these applications since they are on the App Store because your device will not recognize the GBA emulator since you did not download it through the official App Store. But it's not on the official App Store, so that's you know basically why you're downloading these apps. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to leave this second app open for about 30 seconds. It's called Evertail. And yeah, let's go ahead and just wait for it to finish the tutorial or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we can go ahead and just close out. Now you will see the GBA emulator on your home screen. That's how you know the installation was successful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Hope you guys enjoy this and until next time, see you guys.